For the second straight week, the Green Bay Packers have to go on the road to face an undefeated opponent. This time, it's the Carolina Panthers. But can the Panthers replicate the success the Broncos had against Aaron Rodgers last week? I like a lot of the things that the Panthers are doing on defense, and there might not be a better pair of linebackers in the NFL right now than Luke Kuechly and Thomas Davis. But I find it hard to bet Rodgers having two stinkers in a row. In fact, he hasn't lost consecutive starts since early in the 2010 season. Indianapolis Colts head coach Chuck Pagano admitted on Wednesday that the timing of his decision to fire offensive coordinator Pep Hamilton was not ideal, especially with the Colts preparing to face the number one ranked Denver Broncos defense this week. Maybe the Colts are going to find some sort of offensive spark from this change in play caller, but the Broncos are built in a way that could give Andrew Luck lots of trouble. I think Denver's defensive coordinator, Wade Phillips, is going to devise plenty of ways to pressure Luck. And I don't think that receiver T.Y. Hilton is going to have the same sort of success against the Broncos secondary that he had in the Colts' playoff win in January. DeMarco Murray is making his highly anticipated return to Dallas this week, and it comes at the same time as the Cowboys' running game is even more in question as after the team released former starter Joseph Randall. Murray has certainly not been a great running back yet this season for the Eagles, but it's hard to deny the fact that the Cowboys sure could use him after their plans to replace him by committee have already failed. If you like running backs, make sure you check out Sunday's game between Adrian Peterson's Minnesota Vikings and Todd Gurley's St. Louis Rams. Gurley is averaging a stunning 115 yards per game this season after his return from his college ACL injury, while Peterson is ranked third in total yards and yards per game. But what makes this game even more interesting are the stakes, because the winner of this game could have the inside track to an NFC wildcard spot.